All right, Bar Naturals, Prez, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. Yo, what's going on? You're back with the Prez here in Juniper Park. I'm going to bring you a chest workout today. Body weight only. All you need is a set of rings. It's going to be bodybuilding style. We're going to work on building, building muscle size, hypertrophy. It's going to be higher volume. And like the way I always like to train, I always like to start with an isolation movement first to get blood pumping into the muscle, warm it up before I get into any compound. So you're gonna see me here starting with isolation move is gonna be flies on the rings. I'm gonna do three sets of 10 to 12 reps just to get blood to the muscle. We're not trying to fatigue it. It's just trying to warm it up and activate it, get a nice pump going before we get into the main movement. All right, so what muscle are you working on today, man? Today's a straight chest workout. Okay, let's get it. All right, like I said, flies. Now, I got the rings low because I'm a little more advanced, if you'd say. If you can't do them this low, scale them up. The rings are scalable. Raise the rings. The higher they are, the easier the fly movement will be. You'll have less gravity on your body coming down, and you won't be as straight down. You'll be a little more horizontal. You'll be a little more slanted than horizontal. So again, scalable. Everything here is scalable. If it's too low, raise the height. Starting off, hollow body position. Always want to be tight. Fly out. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now again, the isolation is a single joint movement. This is primarily only working the chest. We're only moving our shoulder joint. Flexing the elbow, crossing it at the chest. That's what's getting the contraction on the chest. And the eccentric is on the fly out. Isolation first, get blood to the muscle. Like I said, three sets of this, 10 to 12 reps. About one minute, 90 second break, tops. All right, y'all, Bar Naturals Press. He's doing a chest workout on the rings. Up, you get a uh, bigger, stronger chest. So the key, guys, when doing chest work routines or any type of routine, the more volume you do, the more blood's gonna get to the muscle. That's gonna create that pump. To keep that pump over throughout time and keep your, your muscles swollen, you stay in a period where you only do high rep training. It's gonna build what's called sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. It rushes a lot of blood to the muscles and builds the cells in there. It gives you that really pumped up and swollen look. You can't just train like this one time a week. You've got to have a routine. So if you're going to be on a hypertrophy routine, you make a set program, six weeks long, everything high reps. Then you transfer over, strength routine, low reps. And that's how you constantly make progress. Back and forth, switch up your training routine. Set two, let's go. All right, what you doing here? Flies again. Oh, fly, okay. Do oh, you want me to do all three sets or you don't? No, 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 do, uh, do your thing. They don't take long. We could just do two no, of everything. No, 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 no. Do your thing. Three, right, doing three, right? Three sets. Okay. One. Two. I wanted to ask you now, in the gym, I see people, they do the flies or the, um, uh, what's, what's the difference cables. between, yeah, explain that. So the difference between cables and flies with rings, really, or a TRX would be another device that's similar to a ring, would be, you're just using body weight. Cables are more of a, they're great for putting pump on, but they won't break down the muscle as much as if you're doing it. Body weight, body weight training, your resistance, is your body weight always. With cables, you can choose the resistance you want. You don't have to go as heavy or as light. So body weight regardless, I'm still getting 12 reps out with my body weight. Now, if I wanted to get 12, out, 12 reps out on flies with a cable, if I can't do it with 15 pounds, I'll just go down to 12 pounds or whatever. So the resistance is more scalable and it's honestly, it's a little less stress on the muscle. But again, using rings or a TRX and body weight movements even though it's an isolation movement, remember, 
everything's always engaged in body weight movement. You have no weak limbs, no loose limbs. If you have a loose limb, your, you're gonna, your form's gonna be off, you're gonna be sloppy, your reps aren't gonna look clean, and you're not gonna get the contraction in the muscle that you're supposed to be. So even though I'm doing isolation movement for my chest right now, my whole core is engaged, my butt's engaged, everything, I'm squeezing, I'm tight. If you're, on the, if you're doing a cable motion, all you gotta do is move your arms. You really don't gotta do, use much other part of your body. The heavier you go, the cable will play a little bit of resistance there, but it's not really the same translation as doing a body weight. So, not, nothing to knock cables, they're great tools, but if you're training body weight, I feel like it's a lot more effective than just using cables for isolation movements. Okay, last set now on the flies. Three sets, three sets, flies done. You got a nice pump in your chest going now. It's warmed up, it's ready for the main movement, which is gonna be the next exercise. I'm gonna do one muscle up, 15 dips, for three sets. Okay, so you're gonna have to adjust the um, thing there? Or? Yeah, so. Okay. Now again, like I said, everything here is scalable. I'm gonna muscle up into the ring position, into the dip position on the rings. If you can't do a muscle up yet, Set the, set the ring height so it's just here so you can walk up to them, press up, and hit your dips just like that. The movement here is dips. The main movement is the 15 dips a clip. Set the rings up to a height that's appropriate for you. I give them an example. Okay? Got gotcha. you. So, if you can't muscle up, easy way to progress on the rings. You want to set the rings up. So where... All right, so look, so now, all I gotta do is walk up to the rings, and I'm in flexion already. My shoulders are already fully fully uh, extended. My chest is engaged. All I gotta do now, if you can't muscle up, jump up, and you're, in the, and you're in the dip position. Now, all you gotta do, come down. One, two, three. Simple. Those are beginner variation dips. I'm gonna give you Bulgarian dip, which is the more advanced version. So no matter how your level is, if you, even if you can't muscle up, you can work on the more advanced progression once you get good at regular dips. So again, regular dips, rings stay straight, no movement, Bulgarian dips. You flare your wrist out and you come into a hollow body hold. Then you come back down, just like that. Bulgarian dips, regular dips. Now I'm gonna adjust them to a height that's good for me to do a muscle up on. I'm gonna do L sit muscle ups, keep them clean the whole time. So what? Let me just let you guys know. So for you guys who only train on parallel bars or just bars in general, in my previous video that I filmed with Good Money, I spoke on. Rings make everything a little more harder. You got, a, you got an aspect of instability now. If you're on a dip bar or a straight bar, that bar ain't moving. You only got to engage the main muscles that you're working. You jump on the rings, again, that instability comes in. Everything's gonna be shaking, so a lot more stabilizer muscles are active, a lot more muscles are, in, are active in general. So if you could do sets of 30, 30 clip on the, on the parallel bar, I'll be proud if you could do 20 dips on the rings. The translation is not there. You get good on the rings, you'll be way better on the bar. But I don't care how good you are on the bar, your reps are not gonna translate to the rings. It's always gonna be a lot harder. I'll give you half the reps. And if you're a beginner, maybe a quarter. Okay. What we got here, what we doing? 
One muscle up, 12 to 15 dips, three sets. Okay. Take my watch off. Now watch, guys. Remember, like I said, when muscling up on the rings, there's no kipping. You gotta be clean. So watch, I'm gonna do them strict form, L sit. Full lockout support. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now I did the Bulgarian dip version. Next set. I'll demonstrate the 15 reps, beginner variation. Okay. Here you're gonna be going 90 seconds to two minute tops. You wanna keep your heart rate up, you don't wanna let it go down too much. You want the blood to stay in the muscle. It's gonna build a lot of lactic acid during the, throughout the whole set. You're gonna really feel that pump. Set two, beginner variation. Same thing, clean muscle up. But again, if you can't muscle up, lower the rings and just jump into the support hole and start your set. Beginner, no flare out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, depending on your level, you do three to five sets of this movement. I'm gonna do three sets today because we're filming. Or I would do some days if I don't want to do five sets, I'll throw on a weight vest and I'll do this with like 10 pounds, keep it around 12 reps a set depending on how I'm feeling, what my goal is for the day. Some days I may even go higher reps, I may go 20 a clip. But like I said, on the rings, the reps are hard. You can see, a set like that, it got my heart rate up. I'm breathing heavy. I do 12 dips on a bar, and I do a handstand and walk across and still be good money. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot harder on the rings than what I'm trying to say, guys. But again, if you got the chance and you can do it, get yourself a pair of rings, because it'll change the game up for you, man. You'll get a lot stronger. And you'll just notice a lot, of change, a lot of change in your physique. Look at gymnasts, all they do is use rings. And you guys can see, chest is pumped right now. It's feeling real tight. And again, all body weight, guys. So if someone tells you you can't build muscle doing body weight movement, then tell that person, to try this type of workout. Again, it's totally different. You could go, anyone could go to the gym and lift weights up. There's no mental aspect to that either. It's just going and lifting the weight here. You train your body, you train your mind, your body's working in one unit. You're getting stronger throughout your whole body. And again, you're training on the rings, you're gonna be building way, different, way more muscles than someone training in the gym because you're using stabilizers now. In a gym, you're never gonna have to use those muscles. So again, train on the rings, set three.
three sets down. That was the main movement of the day. Next we're gonna go into what's called pelican push-ups. It's gonna be deep, deep stretch. We're gonna lower the rings, and I'll show you guys the progression for a little uh, easier version also. Okay. Elvis. Yeah, when you're talking, stare clear of that little thing there so no shadow will be on you. you yeah, yeah, yeah. You you in the you. sunlight. Thank you. Yeah. All right, y'all. We out here. What's the name of the park? I keep forgetting the name. Juniper. We in Juniper Park, man, in Queens. Middle Village, Queens. Juniper Park, Middle Village, Queens, with my man Elvis, aka Bar Natural Press. Bar's back there, in case yeah. you're wondering. We got it all here. Yeah, everything here. Let me zoom in on those bars there. Yeah, I see them down there. All right, he's adjusting the bars for the next set. All right, so we're gonna go in to what's called the Pelican push-up. It's gonna really work on a deep stretch in the chest. You're gonna feel a lot in your upper chest, towards your clavicle area, going towards your shoulder joint. It's gonna hit a lot of biceps also. Now moves like this are great to build strength for, for levers also, because it's gonna really teach you how to get that stretch in your chest and that extension in the shoulder. Now remember, when you're doing a lever, you're fully extended like this. You gotta be strong. You gotta have the shoulder joint and the chest strength to hold your body up there. And Pelican push-ups are one of the best moves you can do. So here we go. Three sets again. 10 to 15 reps depending on your level. And same thing. So I put the rings down lower, not as low as when I was doing the flies. I actually, it's like half a notch higher. But if it's not to your level, raise the rings a little bit and do it the same way. You said three to 15 reps? 10 to 15. Oh, 10, okay. okay. Three sets. Oh, three, okay, I got you. So, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna start. As if we're going to do a regular push-up, except instead of our hands being palms facing backwards, hands are going to stay neutral. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to lower our body through the rings. So as we come through the rings like this, we're going to drop and extend. Open up our elbow. Our biceps are going to start to engage. Press back up. That's one rep. Back down. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those look tough, man. Tough, man. This ain't an easy move, guys. So if you can't do it that low, raise the rings and just keep the motion going. The lower you are, guys, remember, what builds resistance and calisthenics is the amount of gravity hitting your body. So what makes levers so hard, front levers, back levers, is the, is, is the way your body's positioned and the way gravity hits your body. So when doing this and any type of pushing movement, the lower your body are, the more horizontal you are to the ground, the more gravity is hitting your whole body. So now if my body was like this, less horizontal and more on a slant, there's less total gravity hitting, the, hitting my body and the muscles that are working. So that's what makes progressions easier in calisthenics as well. All you do is adjust the height of the, mo of the movement and everything becomes adjustable to your level of fitness. So lower, the more advanced, higher, the less advanced. And as you get better and better, you just lower the rings and that's how you progress. Let's do set two. 90 second break here tops guys. Remember, you wanna keep the muscle pumped, you wanna keep it engaged, you want a lot of blood to stay in the muscle. Let it disperse for the short break that you got. Your heart rate's still gonna be up right into the next set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, slow it down, last rep. Ah. Ten. Now, I'm only doing 10 reps for the demonstration. 
I don't want to fatigue too too early and my form start getting sloppy for the rest of the video. But regardless, 10 reps are set right now. I'm feeling it, guys. Trust me. My chest is going to be lit today, lit tomorrow. And doing movements like this, again, your whole body's engaged. So you're burning more calories in general than if you were just to be in the gym just using weights. And training with short break periods keeps the heart rate up. The higher the heart rate, the more calories you burn regardless. So training like this is a good way to build muscle and stay lean and burn calories. So be mindful of your rest periods, guys. The longer you rest, the, it could be beneficial in some sense, some sets. If you're going heavy, you want to let your body, your muscles, and your nervous system. Uh, sorry, I'm out of breath right now, guys. But when you're taking longer breaks, it's more for heavy sets. You want your nervous system to recover. When you're doing more hypertrophy, endurance training, keep the heart rate up. That's the purpose of the training. You're going to keep the blood to the muscle, like I said. Short breaks. Let's get it. Set three. Now on this set, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna do five reps, and I'm gonna do a hold. So for you guys who are trying to get stronger in this motion, isometric holds are also really good. So if you can't hit the 10 reps, work on doing isometrics. Isometrics will build hold, and that will build a lot of strength in that position, and they'll help you bust through plateaus. So I'm gonna do a half set, five reps, and then I'm gonna do a five second isometric hold in the bottom position to show you guys how you can also work on the hold to get stronger. I'm gonna go deep on the first five for you though. Two. Three. Four. Let's go. Five. Now, you wanna build strength in that position, you're gonna do an isometric hold. You're gonna go as far down as you can, that comfortable where you can hold. So let's stay here. One, two, three, four, five. And up. So again, isometrics, always a good tool to use to bust through plateaus and get stronger. That's three sets down. I'm going to rest like two minutes now before I get on to the next movement. All right. So you got uh, two more exercises left? Two more exercises left. All right. What's the next one we got? We're going to do archer push-ups. Archer push-ups. Work push on single arm at a time push-ups. Archer. That's going to be to go after adjust the bands or no? Nah, we're gonna keep the we're gonna keep the rings the same level. Oh, okay. I mean the rings. Excuse me. Rings are gonna stay the same. But if you need to, you can adjust the push-ups. So here it's gonna work on more of a one-arm push-up at a time. So here we go. We're gonna come out down to a full push-up. One. Left arm out. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we're going. 12 reps on there, six and six on each side. This is a single arm movement, so it's gonna be a lot harder. It's gonna be more of a strength building exercise now. So to get 12 reps, we have to do 24 clips, 12 and 12, and it's gonna be very fatiguing. So again, this is more of a single arm, working on a one arm push up type movement, so it's more strength based than endurance based. But again, while you're going out with that one arm, that other arm is still flexed and engaged, so that other chest is still getting blood pumping to it also. So it's working both pecs at the same time, but the one working arm that flies out and presses up is doing all the motion for the fly and the press up. Okay. So here we're going three sets, 10 to 12 reps. So that would be five to six reps on each arm. Take 60 to 90 second breaks here. All right, y'all, chest workout with the rings, with the bar naturals prayers. Getting ready to do the second sets after a rest. Rest is important. You rest more with the rings than you do doing regular calisthenics. Or yeah, you need it because again, you more muscles are engaged throughout the whole set. You're using the stabilizer, so a little, little more recovery. But regardless, if I was doing a chest workout on the bar, I may take a minute break tops 
Here I'll take 90 seconds if I need it. But I'll still try to keep it short, as short as I can, to keep the heart rate up, just so I'm about ready to go again, so I feel that nice burn and that lactic acid build up during the set also. Okay. Set two here. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Harder than it looks, man. Harder than it looks, for sure. <laughs> so like I said, you're still getting the high reps in by doing the 10 to 12. If you're getting five to six per arm, the time under tension is there, but you're working each arm with less reps individually, with more, with more resistance. So again, the amount of gravity hitting each muscle is now more, because you're working single arm at a time, as opposed to getting the whole body up with, you, with both arms at the same time. So now your whole, body is lifting off the gravity with just the one arm at a time. So it works one muscle almost double the times if it would if you're doing two arm push-ups. If you could do archer push-ups on the rings, one arm push-ups on the floor or a bar, it'd be a piece of cake. I'm gonna raise the rings for the third set. I'm gonna go a little higher reps to do it in the uh, Begin a variation. So if it's too low for you and you can't hit them that low, you raise them to your height. I'm gonna go one notch higher only. Alright, so now begin a variation. Now watch, you'll see my body come from the side. I'm no longer as far down and I'm no longer as parallel to the floor. I'm more on a slant now, less gravity on my body. So here, all you do from here, come down, one arm out, up, much easier. Down, one arm out, up, much easier. Again, always suitable, always scalable to the level that you're at. All right, so we got one more exercise now. So we banged out flies to start, dips, arch, uh, we did pelican push-ups, archer push-ups. That's four movements so far for your chest. We're gonna end it with basic ring push-ups as a burnout. All I like to do here is one to two sets, max reps, one minute break, tops. You're gonna time it one minute break, you're gonna go again. So two sets, stand the push-ups here. But now, I never demonstrated push-ups to you on the rings before. Stand the push-ups on the rings involve a, almost like a fly aspect also. So if you're doing push-ups on the floor, your hands are stagnant on the floor, you don't get any internal rotation. On the rings, you go down, you come up, you flare your wrist out, and your arms contract. Your, your elbows cross the, in, the midline of your body, which forces the contraction of your chest. So it's down up more of a contraction than doing regular push-ups on the floor so we're gonna go two sets max reps one minute break any ring adjusting on for the push or are you gonna okay, keep so it there I'm gonna lower them again I had them a little higher from the last set I'm gonna lower these rings to what I did the flies on in the beginning so I'm pretty much as low to the floor as I could get and uh, we're gonna get it going
So if you got these rings and you got these same straps that are graded, these are 18 foot ring straps. So if you're gonna buy rings, I recommend you getting straps with the, with the markers on it. They're called graded gymnastic ring straps. So what makes the, the good thing about that is it makes the height adjusting a lot easier. If you don't have these numbers on it, trying to adjust, if you don't got these numbers on it, bring it, bring it, yeah. So if you get straps that don't have these numbers on it, adjusting the rings both pairs to the same height is really hard. You're going to be going back and forth. You're going to have to hang on the ring to see if you get the same height on both. If you get these rings, like these straps, like I said, they're called graded gymnastic ring straps. They're very easy to adjust. So you just go from one notch to the next, and it's easy leveling. So you bring the clip down to the level you want to go at, and then you just set the next ring up for the same height, same way. So again, if you got these straps right now, I'm going to be working on three and a half. Three and a half is almost as low as you can go to the floor. That's what I'm going to be doing my push-ups on. Another thing, guys. Come here, Jordan. The strap. When you're hanging the rings, the width of the, the width of the rings apart is important. You don't want it to be more than a foot and a half apart. So you want it to be about 12 to uh, 18 inches apart, depending on the level. The closer they are, the easier some things will be. The wider it gets, things will get a little harder. So, like I said, 12 to 18 inches, too narrow. You won't be getting, you won't be having like the mobility and the, and the the actual so height. you would say like shoulder width shoulder so yeah so you want to be about yeah there you shoulder go. width apart there you, you don't want to be too narrow again because too wow. narrow you're not going to be able to get that clearance with your body and too wide you're going to be using too much shoulder motion and it's going to be too much on the and on the shoulder joint mm -hmm. it's going to be more of like iron cross training you don't want to do that no we're not ready for that stuff yet okay. so again level three and a half two sets max push-ups and the workout Like I said, regular ring push-ups, these are standard ring push-ups, just like this. We got 20 there, guys. Like I said, it ain't easy on the rings, man. Everything's hard on the rings. One minute break, one more set, max reps. Okay, y'all see the pump shredded to the bone. Oh, yeah, they was asking in the comments, saying your height and your weight, so the people want to know. 5'9, five, 5'10 five, on a good day. 165. 5'10 on a good day. 165. 165, okay. Man, I've been trying to hit that 170 mark for a while now, guys. Trust me, I eat a lot. If you're wondering about my calories and my nutrition, I broke my nutrition down a little bit prior, but on average, I eat around 3,200 to 3,500 calories a day. And that's about maintenance for me right now. For me to eat, for me to gain some size, I track. Trust me, guys. I'll show you my, my fitness pal if you don't believe me. So you burning about 1,000 a day, right? More than that, bro. Like fifteen hundred. Yeah, fifteen hundred. Yeah, because if you, I train. Like I said, guys, I personal train. I went to school for this. I went to college for exercise science and yeah. nutrition. And then I got three certs through NASM. So I have a few clients. I'm not. I'm not fucking. You know, I'm not Hollywood, but I got. I'm busy. So I stay training. I stay busy throughout the day. <laughs> like I said, I had two clients prior to this. I started at six a.m. Yeah. And uh, I got one later on today also. And this is my time to train for myself. So I stay busy. I stay active. I burn a lot of calories. When I'm trying to bulk in the winter time. When it, in the summer, regards, I'm burning more. In the winter time, I'm trying to put, put on some size. I eat around like 3,700 calories a day. And yeah. for me to hit that 170 mark has still been a struggle for me. Yeah. And to me to eat more than 3,700 is a lot. It's hard for me to do. Also, guys, no excuses. But they I don't say, want to spend my whole day cooking and eating. They say if you eat like 3,500 calories a day, you gain maybe a pound a week. But you That's eating it. more than that, but you burning all those calories, exactly. so, so it's like maintaining. Yeah. So 3,500 pound calories surplus equals one pound. Right. If you want to lose one pound, you got to burn 3,500 calories more than right. you're consuming. So there total. You go. So so for instance, 3,500 calories would be 500 calories a day times seven days. Seven times five is 35. So for you to want to burn a pound a week, you would have to eat negative 500 calories a day than what you're than what you're burning 
Mm -hmm. And you would be in a 3,500 calorie deficit for the week to make you at a pound of deficit a week. And again, same thing if you want to gain. To gain, I'd have to eat 3,500 more calories than, I can, than I'm burning a week. And that would be me eating over 4,000 calories a day. And again, I could do it if I really wanted to and sit around all day and cook and eat, but I have a busy <laughs> most time. And again, but I, I'm not trying to do that. That's right. So I wish I, I mean, maybe one day you'll see me at one, over 170. Yeah. Let's get this, last set, come on. I gotta hit 25 by now, now, because it took more than a minute. All right, bro, Naturals Press. Talk to the people, Ooh. man. Let them know what just went down. That was a full chest workout. Calisthenic, body weight only. Bodybuilding style. You're trying to build muscle. You're trying to do a body weight style training only. This is how you do it. Keep the volume high. Keep the rest period short. Target the specific muscle you want to get. And follow this type of routine. Don't forget, I got my own YouTube too, Bar Naturals. My own IG, Bar Natural Press. My man, that's good money. Appreciate all the love for the, and the platform for everything. No doubt. Thank and, you. Uh, Links will be in the description box, man, to his social medias, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to his YouTube, follow him on Instagram. Already. More videos to come. Thanks a lot. Know. Hold up. Yeah. If you can't do this in many reps, do it to your, to your level again. So what's high for me may not be high for you. So high for you might be 8 to 10 reps instead of 12 to 15. If that's all you could get a set, do it. Keep the rest the same, same, same rest periods that I'm hitting. One minute to 90 seconds, like I say, and you hit it. Over time, your endurance is gonna build up and the reps are gonna increase. We're not doing strength training right now. Again, this is more hypertrophy, more for muscle size, and that nice pump, and that real nice roundness in the muscles. So again, high rep workout, keep the blood going, and let's get it, guys. Follow me, don't forget, do this workout. Let me know how you like it. Leave the comments and that's good money. I'll come and I'll respond to you guys too. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot.